what Rega has done since they can't get this cartridge right now is they've packaged it with their $600 Exact 2 cartridge. It's a yellow cartridge. And they're doing it for the same price at $12.45. So what a bargain is that? <music> Start when I want. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is David, and we're here to talk about the Rega Planer 3, also known as the P3. Our most popular turntable at the $2,000 and below price point, and my favorite in that, that price point as well. Uh, we've been selling Rega turntables. Alan's store has probably for over 20 years and it's probably sold well over a thousand of them in that time. Uh, the Planer 3 is the most popular one we sell and it represents, I think, probably the best value in their line and in that price point for any turntable for that matter. A little history on Rega. They, they started in 1973. Uh, they started just making turntables. Uh, there was a turntable they made called the Planet. and it didn't have anybody's it had anybody's tone arm on it because rega wasn't making a tone arm at the time in uh 1976 they came out with the planer 3 the first version of this turntable and at around the same time they came out with the r300 tone arm that was the predecessor to the tone arm that's on here right now and it's been a world beating tone arm ever since its introduction in 1976. If I remember right, they even won an award, not from Hi-Fi Press and Hi-Fi Magazines, but from the casting societies in the world around how they cast this one-piece tone arm with a, with a hollow tube inside of it. It was like a, a, a miracle for the casting engineering society at the time, I guess. Um, but that tone arm caught on and has been a standard setter. There are a lot of tone arms that have followed the same geometry in terms of its length and everything and the way it mounts to the plinth. So we've really liked this turntable. Uh, right now, they, the one we're looking at here has an Elise cartridge on it, which is an elusive cartridge at this time because Rega can't get any of them anymore. This is what it used to come packaged with. And that's about a $300 cartridge, and the whole package was $1,245. What Rega has done since they can't get this cartridge right now is they've packaged it with their $600 Exact 2 cartridge. It's a yellow cartridge, and they're doing it for the same price at $1,245. So what a bargain is that? You're getting a $300 more expensive cartridge, and you're getting it at the same price as this cartridge they can't make anymore. It's a great table. We talked about the tone arm. It has what I, I bought a Rega turntable, I forgot to mention this, back in 1981 in one of the first nice high-end systems I put together for myself. It was a planer two, and it was before they started making the RB300 tone arm, so I had a different tone arm put on. It was actually made by Magnapan at the time. Imagine that, Magnapan made tone arms. It was a unipivot tone arm. It was quite nice at the time. Um, but a few years, as you know, after I bought mine in 1981, they started coming out with the RB300. If it would have been out at the time, it would have been interesting. I might have bought it instead of the Magnapan tone arm. But they've always had a glass platter at like this price point and up. So if we take this wool mat off, you'll see a glass platter underneath there. A little dirty with some fingerprints on it, but it's under there. Uh, if we lift the whole assembly off, you'll see the sub platter and the motor pulley. You also see a brace. Now they didn't have these in the old days. This was some stuff that they've learned from technology as they've researched and refined this product that it, it helps to brace the, the uh, spindle here to the uh, arm mount. So you've got a nice brace between these two points. It's, it's also on the bottom of the turntable. If I can do this without breaking it, you'll see it down below without the holes in it. Same material, it's just not got the silver nice look to it to make it stand out. So that braces those two very important points that are part of the geometry of playing a record. So you want to keep them really tight and snug and lined up perfectly, and that's why they do that bracing system. They make their turntables out of a lightweight material. Um, in the case of the Planer 3, it's a, I believe it's a multi-density fiberboard, 
And on the other turntables from here, uh, from above that one and up, they use uh, a, a foam, a racing foam that was developed in Formula One racing cars. So that's one of the things as you move up the line that you get, and they get even lighter and lighter. They always include their, their phono cables are direct wired and attached to the arm so that there's no connection there for purity of sound. And they've always, at this price point, put some really good phono cables on. They're really low capacitance. They've got really great connectors on them, and they sound good. So it saves you the money of having to buy your own set of phono cables. So these come in gloss black, gloss white, and gloss red. We usually stock them in gloss black and gloss white and red as a special order. So that pretty much wraps it up for this. It comes with a dust cover, tinged, comes off for when you want to play your records without it. All in the box. So come down and take a listen to it. Get your hands on one. So this is David at Hi-Fi Buys signing out.